Today we're going to be looking at memory addresses and pointers. Now along the series I was saying that if we were to go ahead and define a variable, say we define x to be an integer, this means I have just allocated space for x in my system. So in my memory somewhere, I have already made a vacant apartment or a vacant house for x. So whenever it ends up getting its assigned value, it will have a place to stay. So if I were to go ahead and write that x has been assigned a value of 5, that 5 is going to be staying in the memory we allocated in the first place. So how can we find the memory address of x? How can we find where exactly on our memory we have allocated space for x? And we do this with the memory address operator, and it's represented by 1 ampersand. Remember, 2 ampersands or 2 and symbols was for the and logical operator, which we use in if statements when we want to add multiple conditions. Now, if we only put 1 ampersand, that is for the address, the memory address, or the memory address operator. So if I were to go ahead and just write C out X N line, we know what the result of this is going to be. We've seen this hundreds of times already. If I go ahead and build and run this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get five, right? Simple enough. But if I were to go ahead and put an ampersand right in front of that variable, do you think we're still going to get five or we're going to get some crazy combination of numbers and letters? Well, we go ahead and, and print that out. I want to get this crazy thing right here. What is this? We know zero X seven, a bunch of crazy things going on. That's the memory address of the variable X. So this is where on our memory, x is staying, and the, the 5 is staying with it. So that's great. Now, this might not mean anything to you right now, and it shouldn't, right? It's a bit confusing, and we're going to develop this, and we're going to look into this in more detail in the coming videos. But I want to show you guys the memory address operator, which is 1 ampersand before the variable. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys about pointers. And these are going to be variables that will point towards a memory address. Now, we're going to start off by still calling them an integer, but we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to put a asterisk right before what we're going to define, right? So if we're going to call this the variable lemming, we're going to put an asterisk right before it. And this is going to mean that it's a pointer. I'm going to end that off with a semicolon as well. So here we go. We have the pointer lemming with the asterisk before it. We do not need to put an asterisk before lemming anymore. Our program is smart enough. Our C++ language is smart enough to know that anytime you, re you reference lemming here in terms of a variable, it's going to be a pointer. Now, we cannot go and assign this a integer value. I know I wrote integer here, but we can't go ahead and call this an integer. We can't go ahead and call it a float. We can only assign it a memory address. So how do we get a memory address to assign it to? Simple enough. We already saw the memory address operator. So we can go down here and we write lemming. Remember, we do not need to put an asterisk again. And we can assign that at, uh, ampersand x, which is the memory address of x, which means every time we use the variable lemming or the pointer lemming, it will be pointing at the memory address of x. And if you want to go and confirm this, I can go ahead and print this out. I'll go ahead and print out just lemming, the variable lemming, and we'll see that we're going to get the same address that we have down here. So we go ahead and build and run this. We're going to have build succeeded, and we're going to have the same memory address written twice. That's going to be where the variable x is being stored on your memory. So we're going to go into a lot of detail regarding pointers. This was your brief introduction. If you have any questions regarding pointers or memory addresses, leave them in the comments below, and I will respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys look forward to the next video.